India's first saline water lantern. Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh unveiled India's first saline water lantern. This lantern uses the sea water as the electrolyte between specially designed electrodes to power the LED lamps. Let's know why this is a news. The minister visits Sagar Anveshika, a coastal research vessel operated and used by the National Institute of Ocean Technology (NIOT). Chennai to review the progress of the implementation of the deep ocean mission of India. Let's discuss its objective. Saline water lantern will bring ease of living to the poor and needy, particularly the fishing community living along the 7500 kilometers long coastal line of India. The first of its kind lantern named Roshni has been unveiled. Saline water lantern will also boost and supplement Ujala scheme launched in 2015 for the distribution of LED bulbs across the country. How this technology can be used? India's first saline water lantern which uses the sea water as the electrolyte between specially designed electrodes to power the LED lamps. Roshni lamps along with power ministry scheme like solar study lamps will be driving a vibrant renewable energy program aimed at achieving energy security energy access and reducing the carbon footprint of the national economy this technology can also be used in hinterlands where sea water is not available as any saline water or normal water mixed with the common salt can be used to power the lantern which is not only cost effective but very easy to operate Let's have a look at the role of NIOT, National Institute of Ocean Technology. The NIOT team has invented the Roshni lamp and may transfer the technology to the industry for mass production of this multi-purpose lamp, which can be of immense help in rural and remote areas and in the times of the disasters. NIOT has developed low temperature thermal desalination ltd technology for conversion of sea water to potable water which had been successfully demonstrated in the lakshadweep island three desalination plants based on the ltd technology have been developed and demonstrated at kavarati agati and minikoi island of union territory of lakshadweep The capacity of each of these LTTD plants is 1 lakh liter of potable water per day. What's the way ahead? Based on the success of these plants, Minister of Home Affairs through Union Territory Lakshadweep has entrusted the work of stabilizing six more LTTD plant at Amini, Androth, Chetlet, Kadmat, Kalpeni, and Kiltan with a capacity of 1.5 lakh liters per day. The LTTD technology is found suitable for Lakshadweep Island where the required temperature difference of about 15 degrees Celsius between the sea surface water and the deep sea water is found in the vicinity of Lakshadweep coast only as of now. The cost of desalination plants depend on a number of factors in Teralia which includes technology used and location of plants. The total cost of the 6 LTTD plants in Lakshadweep Island is rupees 187.75 crore. Let's know about the National Institute of Ocean Technology (NIOT). It was established in November 1993 as an autonomous society under the Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India. Its objective is to develop reliable and indigenous technology to solve various technology problems related to the use of non-living and living resources. of the indian exclusive zone which is about 2/3 of india's land area what is sagar anveshika it's a coastal research vehicle used to carry out environment indexing and bathymetric mapping underwater features in both coastal and off source water utilizing the research vehicle marine scientist can travel 6 km below the sea the scientist can also stay underwater for more than 16 hours to conduct research activities What is low temperature thermal desalination technology? It is a technology or technique for desalination. It works on the concept that water evaporates at lower temperature at low pressures. It utilizes vacuum pump for creating a low pressure and a low temperature environment resulting into evaporation of water at a temperature gradient of 8 degree Celsius.